Thank you, Joe. Um, we've got John Taggart next, who is actually coordinating our vulnerable accused theme. Hi, John. Hi, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Hi, so my name's John Taggart. I'm just finishing up my PhD at LAC at the minute. Um, I'm looking at the use of intermediaries for vulnerable witnesses and vulnerable defendants. Um, more broadly, my, my PhD is looking at the intermediary role from a socio-legal angle, um, looking at what the role involves, the scope of the intermediary role, what its function is, beyond the, the legislation and the guidance given by the MOJ and the Department of Justice in Northern Ireland. But specifically for this talk today, I just I want to hone in on something quite, yeah, quite specific. Um, so vulnerable witnesses and vulnerable defendants are um, eligible for well, broadly eligible for intermediary assistance based on vulnerability. But when you look at the eligibility criteria more specifically, um, witnesses are eligible for intermediary assistance, communication assistance, uh, based on the need for best evidence, coherency, uh, accuracy of evidence, whereas defendants, based on the ad hoc system of intermediaries that has developed, um, are eligible for assistance based on their participatory rights. So defendants enjoy the right to fair trial and an implied right within that is the right to effective participation. So defendants and witnesses can both receive intermediary assistance, but uh, based on different eligibility criteria. And I think I, I really want to hone in on that a bit more because I don't think that's really appreciated very well in the literature or it hasn't been the focus of much research. I think this is a particularly important question in the next couple of months or a couple of years because as of November this year, the court appointed intermediary system will provide a formalized um, system of intermediaries for defendants in England and Wales for the first time. Now this raises questions as to why we're gonna have a different system for defendants than for witnesses. So in Northern Ireland, we have a unified system. If you're a vulnerable witness or a vulnerable defendant, you will have access to a registered intermediary in England and Wales from November, we're going to have a different system. We need to look at that in terms of eligibility. Defendants are el eligible for intermediaries for different reasons, but what sort of a culture will this develop in terms of neutrality, uh, working cultures? Why do we have a different system for defendants? There's going to be a very interesting comparative angle there between England and Wales and other jurisdictions. I fear a little bit for us going forward why do we have separate intermediaries for defendants? What does that say and what perceptions might that raise? I'm going to be out of time very soon, so I'll leave it there. Thank you very much.